Who's your commanding officer? He got decapitated by an 88 about six weeks ago. But I mean, don't say you're sorry. He's been trying to get us killed. Ever since we landed at Omaha Beach, it's terrible. I, he hasn't reported him dead yet. You see, I've been collecting his whiskey. If I hear any more threats against Captain Maitland's life, if I hear any more wild talk about going down to headquarters and killing the general or raping the nurses at the field hospital, I'm going to strangle a guy with my bare hands. You understand that? It's going to take a little time to get organized, but I want that farmhouse to look like a nightclub. Little Joe, I want you to set up a bar. We ain't got no booze. We ain't got no booze. Well, we're going to get some booze. We see our role as essentially defensive in nature. While our armies are advancing so fast and everyone's knocking themselves out to be heroes, we are holding ourselves in reserve in case the Krauts mount a counteroffensive which threatens Paris or, or maybe even New York, then we can move in and stop them. This engine's been modified by our mechanical genius here, Moriarty. Right? Whatever you say, Pam. <laughs> These tanks are faster than any other tanks in the European theater of operations. Forwards or backwards. Hold it, hold it! See, man, we like to feel that we can get out of trouble quicker than we got into it. And the other secret weapon? Oh, yeah. I mean, like, you see, all the tanks we come up against are bigger and better than ours. So that all we can hope to do is, like, scare them away, you know? This gun is an ordinary 76 millimeter, but we add this piece of pipe onto it, and the crowds think, like, uh, maybe it's a 90 millimeter. We got a loud speaker here, and when we go into battle, we play music very loud. It kind of calms us down. We got our own ammunition. It's filled with paint. When we fire it, it makes pretty pictures. Scares the hell out of people. Fire! That's paint. Hold up! Alright, we're gonna need plenty of gasoline on this trip. Think you can handle getting it through enemy lines? Name the place, baby. Right here. Grid section B, tonight at $2,100. No good, man. I mean, like, the boys have got something special on tonight. Okay. Tomorrow night, then, right along this road, same hour. We'll be there. Right, oddball? Oh, yeah, man. I mean, uh, no sweat, you know. Who's in command? Guy named Oddball. Oddball! He's a freak! He's got three Shermans all ready to go. What kind of a guarantee is that? He's ready to go. He's a nut! <laughs> well, it looks to me like there ain't no bridges. Still up. What's this here? It's a bridge. Even if we make that, we still got a river to cross later on. Uh, right now, our problem is getting through German lines, right? Right. How? Well, it's a railroad bridge, isn't it? Yeah. Well, then, beautiful. We swing down onto the railroad tracks and right over the mother bridge. And over the mother bridge. Sure. Suppose the bridge ain't there. <sighs> oh, man. Don't hit me with them negative waves so early in the morning. Think that bridge will be there. And it'll be there. It's a mother beautiful bridge. And it's gonna be there. Okay? Okay, Chief. It's still up. <laughs> See what's sending out the negative waves, did Moriarty? Hey, that ain't my fault, Oddball. I've done nothing but have good thoughts about that damn bridge ever since we left. What happens now? It looks like we're gonna find ourselves another bridge. 
And where are we going to come up with another bridge? There you go, more negative waves. Have a little faith, baby. Have a little faith. Move on out! We was assaulted by them tigers. You know what I mean by assaulted, huh? Well, I mean assaulted! Why don't you knock it off for them negative waves? Why don't you dig how beautiful it is out here? Why don't you say something righteous and hopeful for a change? Crap. Hi, man. What are you doing? I'm drinking wine and eating cheese and catching some rays, you know. What's happening? Well, the tank's broken and they're trying to fix it. Huh? Then why the hell aren't you up there helping them? Oh, man. I only ride them. I don't know what makes them work. Huh? Oh, creeps. Definitely an antisocial type. <laughs> That's my other dog imitation. What did I tell you, huh? Now look, huh? the trade for the uniforms I can understand. But to buy this tank, you gotta be crazy. It's a mother beautiful tank. It's a piece of junk. The fuel system leaks all over the place. It's a piece of junk. Always with the negative waves, Moriarty. Always with the negative waves. Right. Oh! 